Well, hey guys, welcome to Cool Guides. It's me, Robobo. <laughs> Let's get going. Uh, I'm really trying something different here. How many bananas can you buy for $5 in four different countries? All right, let's take a look-see here. Three pounds in Australia, five pounds in France, eight and a half pounds in the USA, and 25 freaking pounds in Ethiopia. I would be overflowing with potassium if I lived in a... I don't know why I was pronouncing the beginning of Ethiopia wrong, but here I am. Elevation in the United States. Holy Lord! I live right at the foot. Right at the foot of that giant-ass beginning of the mountain range right there because Colorado Springs is at the actual foot of Pikes Peak, which is like, what, 14,500 some odd feet? Something like that? Different forms of colorblindness. Okay, I don't know how to say any of those words. Also, I am colorblind, but I, I couldn't tell you the difference between the first three. The last one, sure, looks a little strange to me, but uh, <laughs> the first three all look identical to Maya. Well, well, maybe a little. You know what? It doesn't matter. I could be here all day trying to explain to you what I see. The amount of lake monsters is suspicious. North American cryptids. All right, we've got the, uh, um... Wait, 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 wait. As someone from Washington, Sasquatch seems to be everywhere, okay? Because Sasquatch is a Washington thing. Everyone in Oregon has treated it as an Oregon thing. Everyone in Colorado treats it like a Colorado thing. That's how you know we're never going to find Sasquatch, goddammit! And it makes me sad, I want him to be real! Also, according to this map, Colorado doesn't have one? The Bear Lake monster looks like it's in... What is that? Is that Utah? I actually have no idea. I don't. This is how dumb I am. I see Idaho, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, California, Arizona, New... Ma Skinwalker? What the hell is going on down there? I could be here all day. The Dover Demon looks amazing. The Beast of Bray Road. Frogman? Okay, Frogman looks like a bro. Also, you are right. There sure are a lot of lake monsters. The Oklahoma Octopus. I could do an entire 30-minute video getting curious about everything I see on the screen right now, okay? Free software alternatives. Yeah, that's right. Adobe can kiss everyone's ass. So, instead of Photoshop, use GIMP. Instead of Illustrator, use Inkscape. Instead of After Effects, use Natron? Natron? Instead of Premiere Pro, use DaVinci Resolve. I don't agree with that. Instead of Adobe XD, what? Use Figma. Cinema 40, 3ds Max, Blender. Blender is probably the best program that has ever been made, and I have absolutely no knowledge of or need of it whatsoever. <laughs> also, DaVinci Resolve is amazing. Do not get me wrong, it is a fantastic program, especially at the price of zero dollars, unless you need some extra features for a few hundred, but I do not like it at all. Premiere Pro has has always been my editor, and unfortunately I do still pay for it, because there have been no people out there with the knowledge, the willpower, and the generosity to actually create something like it, or something really close to After Effects, or otherwise, that uh, they can give away for a very cheap price. Hell, you know what? If someone out there recreates Premiere Pro, not exactly, obviously, but modeling your editing software really, really, really closely to Premiere Pro. And no, I don't want Vegas. I don't like Vegas either. It's just not my favorite. Although, definitely better because you can actually f***ing buy it. But anybody out there that wants to take on building Premiere Pro from the ground up for me, I'll give you $3,000. I don't don't give a shit. Let me buy it. Let me buy things again. Why do you think I collect so much shit? It's because everything is disappearing. All these companies think they have the right to take the products we gave them money for and hide them away and paywall them. Look, if you have created a product, sure, you're absolutely you have a right to sell it. Doi. What you should not have the right to is demand money for all eternity for a product. I totally understand a company going, all right, cool. Premiere Pro is $800. However, you're only going to get one year of updates, and then after that, you'd have to pay for upgrades in the future. Okay, I will gladly f***ing do that. What I will not do is give you $600 a year, and that's just for the whole suite, forever. Absolutely not. That's bullshit. You know it. We all know it. That. All right? Solves the confusion regarding the British Isles. 
Does it? It doesn't for me. Okay, I'm kidding. What to do if your brakes go out? I hope this is a real guide. Number one, take your foot off the gas and turn on your hazard lights. Number two, try pumping your brakes fast and hard. If you have ABS, hold the brake pedal to the floor. All right, simple enough so far. On automatic cars, move your shifter from D into 3, 2, 1, or L. What if your car doesn't have that? What if your car is as simple as it gets in automatic mode? Step four, pull up on the emergency brake with smooth, even pressure. Jerking it up could send your car into a skid. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. That'll be bad. Five, use the guardrail to slow down by rubbing the side of your car against it. And six, look for a patch of open grass, soft dirt, sand, or bushes to turn into. Use this method only if you're already going under 20 miles an hour. That's completely fair. <laughs> I do not think that you would be... Uh, well, actually, you might get in trouble if you were near a truck runaway ramp or something on the highway. I don't know if they would be happy about that. Plus, you wouldn't want to be there if a truck needed to use it. Endemic versus epidemic versus pandemic. Ah, I see. Endemic is strange, isn't it? Anyway, a simple guide to the Pandora Papers leak and how big is the Pandora Papers leak? That title was done a little weird, but okay. All right, 14 sources, roughly 12 million files and three terabytes of data. How does it break down? 6.5 million documents, 3 million images, 1.2 million emails, 467,000 spreadsheets, and just under a million whatever the hell. Offshore leaks, 260 gigabytes, Panama Papers in total, 2.6 terabytes, Paradise Papers. Oh, d good lord. All right, now what does this all mean? I didn't, I can't read all of these. Paper snowflakes. Oh, it's that simple? No way, you're screwed. No, it is, I know, I know. How long will it take to crack your password? Okay, uh, I don't know how accurate this is anymore. I mean, how long ago was this little guide made? It's just like that, oh, there's a website that does this exact same thing when you type your password in. But uh, how accurate is this sort of thing now? Like, all right, does it matter? Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't read it. I'm stupid, don't worry. So three characters instantly. All right, fair. 18 numbers only, 126 years. So just make it 18 random numbers. <laughs> Oh, that's not too bad, right? I love that. Numbers, uppercase, lowercase letters, and symbols. One quintillion years? That's a good amount of years. I mean, how long is it? You know what? No, I won't ask that question. Doesn't matter. Just make your password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and you're just good to... I'm kidding. I know that that's more than 18 characters. I was trying to make a joke. It's trying to be funny. How to move 1,000 people. What does it take to move 1,000 people? One link train, four cars, 15 buses, 625 cars. Car option also requires over five acres of parking at both start and destination. 625 cars. Okay, w w how big are these cars? Can they hold five people like your average four-door sedan? Are there a couple of smart cars sprinkled in there? Look, I hate cars. I do. Screw them. They're a huge problem for most of us. Whether you think so or not, they suck ass. <laughs> they really do. Public transit would be pretty sick, actually. Someone living in a city like Colorado Springs without a car, what do you get to do? Nothing. You don't get to do shit. Walking somewhere? Okay, walk 20 miles. A bus? Cool, it takes you six hours to get to work. All that. Cars are stupid as shit. <laughs> Just, oh man, I don't like them. The presidents of Peru since 2000 and their fates. Okay, why is this a cool guide? What is the, what? Imprisoned, transitional president, extradition approved, committed side, house arrest, ousted in coup, resigned, transitional president, detained. Neat. That's, that's super cool. What a cool guide. Plaid patterns. Ooh. Oh, they actually have names. Okay, let's see. D checks. Buffalo check? No, 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 no. Come on. No way. You're screwing with me, aren't you? Hound's tooth? Oh, whatever. Plant watering guide. How to water? Incorrect. Frequent light watering. Correct. Infrequent heavy watering. Roost. Roost. I cannot read tonight. Roots chase water to bottom of the pot. Makes total sense to me. No, it does. I mean, what else am I supposed to say? How to survive a plunge from a waterfall. Oh, boy. This is something out of the worst case scenario survival guide. Step one. Take a breath right before you go over the edge. 
I hope I know when that's gonna happen if I'm laying down like that. I can only go by sound. Two, position yourself so you go down feet first. Three, wrap your arms over your head and press your nose into your elbow to help seal it from water, right? Four, tense your muscles and press your legs and feet together. Five, tightly... D oh, I thought that said dose your eyes. Close your eyes and mouth, and then swim away from the falls immediately, even before breaking the surface. That makes enough sense to me. How many of these are completely wrong? And I'm thinking that they're completely correct. Now I'm gonna look like an idiot. How many of them are incorrect? Did someone tell me that? Guide for facial expressions. Yeah, I definitely need a guide for that. Something kind of creepy about this. Uh, I don't like looking at that. Yeah, creepy, yes, but useful. See the chapter notes for more on why. I don't want to. Google like a pro. Oh, these things. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you here. Right? I'm going to be as honest as I possibly can. I will never use any of this. I, I know there's a lot of people out there that have memorized the Google search tricks and their lives are far better for it, but it is not going to happen with me. Not because I don't want to, not because I refuse to, but because no matter how many times I see one of these goddamn guides and I try try my best to memorize even one of these, I will never remember. 30 day push up challenge. Hmm. I also tried this. I did. I tried this. <laughs> you know what happened? Nothing. I could not make it past 10. Okay. I could not make it past 10. It's just never going to happen for me, man. The Queen's Corgis. D oh, I got to be honest. The Queen's Dogs. I do not care. Ready for no Nestle November? It is no Nestle, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's see. Everything owned by Nestle. Uh, your only options ever. <laughs> Go right ahead, everybody. Go right ahead. See if you can. See if you can. See if you can. All right. I think it's fantastic that five companies own the literal fucking planet. Isn't it so cool that they're allowed to do that? <gasps> Use the right onion. Sweet onion, best for frying. Red onion, best for eating raw. What? <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know me, I like to eat my onions like apples. White onion, crunchiest, and sharpest zing. All right, yellow onion, best all-round cooking onion, and shallot, milder and more subtle. Okay, I don't care about the use fors, I just wanted to know something simple. How the atomic mushroom clouds are actually bigger than they look. Uh, gonna be honest with you, I, I never once thought that they were small, okay? Sure, I get it. I get it. Green is the Empire State Building, blue is Mount Fuji, and then, you know, red is Mount Everest. That's insane. They are insane. These are also weapons that can destroy all existence as we humans know it, right? Also, is this the blast from an atomic bomb or a hydrogen bomb? Because I do believe they are different, and one is way goddamn worse. I could be completely wrong on that. No, I'm not getting that from Oppenheimer. Okay. <laughs> As an autistic person, I did love reading about atomic bombs and hydrogen bombs because, you know, that's, you, know, you pick something and you get obsessed with it, okay? Look, I found RuneScape like a week later, okay? I was not gonna go build a hydrogen bomb in my backyard. <laughs> not that I would be able to. I am stupid. Biking or running in the dark? Here's how the drivers see you based on the clothes you wear. Uh, what? I mean, I guess. This does feel like a shitty ass guide in general. Uh, I love that if you're wearing black and it's dark out, even with headlights, you are invisible. Okay, as someone that drives at night, somewhat frequently, bullshit. Not to say that you should go out wearing black. A lot of people in our neighborhood do wear high vis vests like, you know, little nerds, which is the smart idea. However, no, they're not invisible. Okay, I have tinted windows and they're not invisible. But yeah, wear something, wear something better. Come on. The anatomy of the world's most popular sandwiches. Mmm, I want a panini. Actually, you know what? Screw that. I want a grilled cheese and then maybe a Cuban to wash everything down. Does that? Oh, I, man, these lower res images are killing me because I saw Po Boy and I almost, I swear to God, I read Poi Boy. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Apples on a scale from most tart to most sweet. All right, let's see. Granny Smith, obviously. I've never had a Pacific Rose or a Macintosh or an Empire, a Cortland, an Envy, a Lady. I have had a Braeburn. I have had a Jazz. Never had a Macown, a Macoon, Autumn Glory, Opal, Sugar Bee, Smitten, had a Honeycrisp, never had a Snap. 
Snapdragon. I do like Red Delicious. I do like Gold Delicious. Never had a Jonah Gold or a Juicy or an Ambrosia. I've had Gala and Fuji. So I haven't had most of these. And I'm from Washington State, by the way. D&D &D ability scores explained with tomatoes. Ah, uh, yes. That is actually the de facto default way of explaining these to people that don't understand what they mean. Strength is being able to crush a tomato. Dexterity is being able to dodge a tomato. Constitution is being able to eat a rotten tomato. Intelligence is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put a tomato in fruit salad. And charisma is being able to sell a tomato-based fruit salad. Th like, this seems funny, and it is, but it's incredibly helpful, especially for someone like me, who initially had an incredibly vague understanding of these, but let's say never understood what dexterity meant, what constitution meant, and what the difference between intelligence and wisdom would have been. This helped a lot. Causes of death in the United States. What Americans die from, what they search on Google, and what the media reports on. Okay, let's take a look-see here. As someone who's a hypochondriac, I sure love being here. Let's see, heart disease, 30%, cancer, roughly 30%, road incidents, falls, and accidents, lower respiratory disease, Alzheimer's, stroke, diabetes, drug overdose, kidney disease, pneumonia and influenza, and suicide. Oh, and then homicides and terrorism. <sighs> I do not like seeing any of these. Okay, now here's what they search on Google. Heart disease, cancer, road incidents. L this is, yeah, Google searches, okay. All right, well, that, that, okay. <sighs> and what the media reports on. Media coverage, New York Times, and media coverage, The Guardian. Okay, well, uh, neat. Thanks, guys. Warning signs someone's anxiety is setting in. Appearing zoned out, snapping at something small, they become impatient, struggling to make eye contact, they need more reassurance, struggling to sit still, they avoid making plans about the future, they want to leave an event early. I have become pretty good at spotting when somebody is absolutely not having a good time. Why? Because I've had people say the most horrible things to me because I didn't notice. And I asked them a simple question. This is not due to them being an asshole, but I get very easily wounded. So I learned a long time ago to notice you. That's it. It is important to be able to notice somebody. Notice they're being ignored. Notice they're not having a great time. Notice something is wrong and double check. I'll never remember this mid-heart attack, but this is good to know. Heart attack symptoms, men versus women. All right, let's take a look at men. Nausea or vomiting, jaw, neck, or back pain, squeezing chest pressure or pain, and shortness of breath. Okay. Now with women, we've got a couple of the same things. Chest pain, but not always. Okay. Pain or pressure in the lower chest or upper abdomen, shortness of breath, fainting, indigestion, and extreme fatigue. Another thing to keep in mind with this particular guide is these are the most common common symptoms of a heart attack. But remember, we experience a lot of the same stuff. Obviously, there's a bit of an overlap here. Another thing that you should be keeping an eye out for is, you know, the shooting pain up and down the left arm. It can go to your right arm, jaw, neck, back, tummy. It's very ridiculous how evil a lot of these things are in how many symptoms you can have, okay? You know, I've referenced Kevin Smith and his talk about, you know, mental health and trauma and stuff, but him talking about his heart attack and how I don't even think he realized he was having one at first. <laughs> it's definitely a good thing to watch, listen into. Not that anybody here is at risk of a heart attack, okay? We're all doing pretty good. <laughs> We're fine. But you should absolutely know everything possible. You should. It's just smart, right? This sentence has five words. Here are five more words. Five word sentences are fine, but several together become monotonous. Listen to what is happening. The writing is getting boring. The sound of it drones. It's like a stuck record. The ear demands some variety. Now listen, I vary the sentence length and I create music. Music! The writing sings. It has a pleasant rhythm, a lilt, a harmony. I use short sentences, and I use sentences of medium length. And sometimes, when I am certain the reader is rested, I will engage him with a sentence of considerable length. A sentence that burns with energy and builds with all 
all the impetus of a crescendo. The roll of the drums, the crash of the cymbals, sounds that say, listen to this, it is important. So write with a combination of short, medium, and long sentences. Create a sound that pleases the reader's ear. Don't just write words, write music. I've always agreed with Gary Provost. It is Provost, right? Provost? You know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I've always agreed with this guy, even though I've only read this exact thing a few times in my life. As someone that reads and speaks for a living, give me some variation. I, You see me. I read stuff out here that makes me die inside. All right? Like, for real. Just a little bit. Come on. Although... Get crazy with your prose, for sure, but don't tread into the purple territory. Don't give me that purple prose. Small guide. How human flesh decomposes. Okay, can we stop calling this place cool guides if we're gonna get stuff like this? Fresh bloat, active decay, advanced decay, and dry remains. I cannot wait until I'm dry remains. Heimlich maneuver for dogs. This is probably good to pay attention to. Head facing down like a wheelbarrow. Sweep from side to side. See if you can dislodge the object. Compress the abdomen by pushing up with your fist. A sharp blow between your pet's shoulder blades might do the trick. I just want everyone to know how to save dogs because I love dogs more than most people. How to make an amazing sofa fort. You son of a... Where was this 15 years ago in my life? Did you know? Fish? Fish? Fishes. The plural of fish is fish. When referring to more than one species, you can use fishes as plural. <laughs> now, normally I would Google that to see if I could verify it for you, but I don't really care enough in this particular case. Not sure if this counts because there aren't actually words, but I just think the life cycle of a strawberry is neat. Yeah, this may not be a guide, but uh, how am I 27 years old? Almost 28, and I didn't know that a strawberry started off as a goddamn flower. That just looks like a regular ass flower. Different street light designs to minimize light pollution. Ooh. Ah, I see. I like that. Very bad. Bad. Better. Best. I have never seen a street light like best. Hell, to my recollection, I've probably only seen better once in my life, and bad is like the most common among the weird lantern-looking street lights that still exist in various areas. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen very bad, though, either. I mean, maybe once or twice. How to tie the strongest knot there is in four steps. The strongest knot? Oh, I see. Yeah, that's just gonna go in one ear and out the left nostril. How to survive a dog attack. Stay calm. Both fear and aggression will enhance the dog's ferocity. Do not run from the dog or make eye contact. Move away slowly while turned peripherally from the animal. If it looks like the dog will attack, put something between you and the animal. Stick, jacket, anything to protect yourself. When the dog charges, use the stick or rock as a weapon. Aim for the eyes and throat specifically. Do not tear your limb away. If biting is unavoidable, offer a forearm. Leave three limbs free to attack the dog and protect your face and stomach. After the attack, consult a doctor about diseases carried by dogs, including rabies. Notify the police and animal control. You absolutely want to go to a doctor ASAP after getting attacked or bit by any random animal, for sure. Cat, dog, penguin in the street, bat, please do so. Because as you know, if it is rabies and you get symptoms, you are going to die. That is a guarantee. The s the what monks? The Cistercian monks invented a numbering system in the 13th century, which meant that any number from 1 to 9,999 could be written using a single symbol. Hmm, what? Uh, sure, I, 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 I don't need this. A quick guide to tea. Oh, dear. Oh, it's, it's this. Uh, not to say that tea doesn't provide any kind of benefit whatsoever. You know, you got a little bit of caffeine in there, gives you a little kick, depending on the tea, of course. But, uh, drinking green tea is not going to give you a mega insane turbo-boosted NOS metabolism all of a sudden again. You're not gonna be 18 again. <laughs> it's tea! Alright? Not that that's what this guide is saying, but, you know... I personally do not believe that elderflower is going to cure my common cold. Again, not that that's what this is saying, but uh, you, know, you know what? How about this? Next time I get a cold or I'm nauseous, I will try these. And if ginger tea makes me not feel nauseous anymore, you know what? I'm a believer. I really am. Until then, I'm just gonna die Batman through the years. The hell happened to Batman in 1943? All right, hold on. Let's take a look-see here. 
1943. Yeah, well, yeah, that's definitely a strange side profile. Um, hmm, okay. 1986, good lord, he got beefy. Uh, 2016, he's a robot, that's great. No, now he's Lego, now he's a ninja, despite looking more like a samurai? Oh, I don't care about Batman anymore. Batman and Spider-Man, Superman, they've all been fatigued to shit in my mind. There, 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 okay. Ah! Oh, I like it, I like that. Activities that make your brain release happy chemicals. Okay. All right. If one of these is go walk in the woods or go hiking, I swear to God. Happiness chemicals and how to hack them. Dopamine, the reward chemical. Complete a task, doing self-care activities, eating food, celebrating little wins. Uh, now, eating food can be tricky because uh, that can become a problem. Not eating in general, but the idea that you can hack getting dopamine simply by eating food. A lot of people have done this, and what has resulted in that is an eating disorder. Okay. I don't like guides like this. They are helpful. They can give you really good ideas on how to boost your mood in the moment or something like that. But sun exposure, cycling, playing with a dog or a baby, or essential oils are not going to be some sort of cure-all or guarantee or anything like that. Again, that is not what this is saying, but I tend to read a little bit deeper into these things so you don't take this thing at face value. Absolutely do these things for sure, essential oils. Absolutely do all these other things for sure. Celebrating little wins, running, meditating, giving a compliment, those are great, but I don't like that there's just nothing else to it here. How to hack your happiness chemicals. Okay, that doesn't mean anything. These are just things that we should all do if we have the chance. Hacking your f***ing happiness chemicals? Okay, I'm glad that your heart's in the right place, but there's usually more to it than that. Like, take me for example. I can't hack shit. I do need help. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. And I do a lot of these, okay? Like eating food, watching comedies. I like that endorphin, the painkiller, we just have dark chocolate, exercising, laughter, ex what is laughter exercise? You know what? You know, I'm gonna kick your ass. Not you. No, 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 not you. I meant the, never mind. 28 window types, an illustrated guide. <laughs> I do love me some windows. <laughs> Bay window. Hey, we've got one of those here. Casement window? Center pivot window. Ooh, don't like those. Double hung window? Not a fan. Garden window? Love those. Fixed? Boring. Egress? All right. Hopper window? No. Glass block window. Those are funky. Almost pointless, but funky. Lunette window. Like the ones that are usually just on doors. Palladian window? What am I, a billionaire? Oriel window? Oriel window? So like a regular sliding up and down type? I kind of wish that those windows were a little more common these days because mine slides from right to left, left to right. So if I want to put an air conditioner in there, guess what? <laughs> nope, it don't make any air conditioners for that. And no, I'm not using one of those portable ones. Those things are freaking terrible and inefficient and a waste of your time. Skylight window? Absolutely, though. Tilt and turn. Is that the one everyone in Europe goes absolutely bonkers for, and if you don't have windows like that, they wish they could murder you or something crazy? Hey guys, just wanted to pop in here to remind y'all about the new merch over at mkshop.com. Made with 100% cotton, you can feel the heft from the very first second you pull it out of your mailbox. Take a look at our new hoodie, for example. This is probably the best hoodie I've ever worn in my life. It is the comfiest, the coziest. So head on over to mkshop.com now and use code BOOBIN at checkout to get yourself free shipping. 